got a question this week from Wally SMI, who actually has a killer cover of Harvest Moon on their YouTube channel. So I'll link that below. Check it out. Come a little bit closer. Hear what I have to say. But the question is, when I connect Flow 8 F8 to Audacity, I see a list of F8 sources to connect to. I tried them all and I can only get mics one and two to record. Can you help? Let's take a look. I've got a Flow 8 here and Audacity, and we'll open it up. I've got a microphone plugged into channel one. You can see the levels bouncing there. And then for channels two, three, and four, we'll use the sound bullet putting out some uh, pink noise, and we'll set these channels all to a nominal level just so we can see that working. Three. I can see the signal there. If you haven't seen the sound bolt before, I'll link those below too. It's a really handy little tool. And we got to interview and talk to the creator, David, uh, a couple years back now and did a nice video of that. So check that out if you're not hip to the sound bullet. So in Audacity here, first thing we wanna do is go to our preferences and make sure that we have the correct interface selected under devices. And you can see I'm gonna move it from the X32 to the Flow 8. And I've got the Flow 8 in recording mode, which gives you all of the outputs direct. Uh, in streaming mode, you get stereo output pairs. So that's the first thing to check to make sure the Flow 8 itself is in recording mode and select that in Audacity. If you're used to working in other DAWs, normally here you would add tracks and then arm them and you could monitor them. That's not how Audacity works. So right here you see I've chosen four, I hit record, it starts recording four tracks. You can see my microphone on one, uh, right now the tone was on four, now going to three, and then I'll plug it into two, and you can see it's recording all four of those tracks at once. Now, if I want to record eight, I can simply stop this recording and I can choose instead of four from that drop down menu, I can go to eight. And if I hit record now, it'll add eight more tracks after that original four. If I didn't have those original four, it would just record eight. Now you can see I've selected two as a stereo pair to record a stereo track. I can stop that. I can go to four and it'll add four more tracks below and start to record those. I can stop that, delete all of those, delete the tracks as well. So I'm starting from a clean slate and go to the full 10 tracks available from the Flow 8. And you can see it'll record all of those just as they're coming into the computer. So hopefully that helps clear up some confusion. If you use Audacity and know a better way to do this, I'm not an expert at all. I very rarely use Audacity though. It's a great tool for certain things. So definitely let us know in the comments if you've got a different workflow of how you like to set things up for recording your podcasts. Thanks especially to all the folks whose names you just saw on the screen and the three new members this past month. I hope to get to talk to you each personally very soon. You can join now for just a dollar a month right here on YouTube or on Patreon. If you like this one, give it a like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.